Well, any player coming into Bath to sign a contract has to do a player medical that's contractually obliged. Now, obviously, the nature and the length of that contract varies, and therefore the medical varies. It depends on how much risk we want to take. But essentially what a player medical is, is risk assessment. There's two points that the medical will happen. Obviously, Johan will express an interest, as, as with, with Rob Burgess, our head of recruitment, they'll express an interest in a player. That interest will lead to a preliminary medical. There's probably no exchange of contract at this point. This could be as, as far as months from the beginning of a new season. That's assessing risk. That may be a player who's had some issues in the past that are well documented. Assessing whether it's worth going forward with an offer. So there's a there's a there's a almost like a preliminary medical. After you sign the heads of terms, which are I agree to sign for Bath Rugby for this amount, whatever terms are agreed by Johan and Rob, then there has to be a medical within 50 days of signing the heads of terms. Okay, and that's slightly more official. There is actually a third time as well. So when we establish our start of pre-season, you do an entry medical then that has to be within 30 days of the start of pre-season. So there are almost three time points we do a medical, looking at slightly different things along the way. If we think rugby union is the same the world over, 15 aside, men's rugby union is the same, and it yields similar injuries. And those similar injuries give us clues to what we should expect from any player, but rarely see a new injury year to year. So we check against how durable a player's knee ligaments are, ankle ligaments, things that we see that are common. All right, just go chin on the chest now, and just pull that forward a wee bit more. Okay, just normal pull through there. Yep. Yeah, then up towards the ceiling. Keep going. Oh, good. Anything more right side or left? There's no. Nothing. There are various tests that we can do on that, just general clinical tests. We can do them in the medical room. We can see how stable a ligament is, whether it's loose and frayed, whether it's nice and solid. We can see if a joint is degenerated, if it's swollen, if it's breaking down. Muscle length is important because muscle injuries are still something we, we feel that we can avoid. Checking that muscle length is adequate, that its tone is soft, it's well muscled, depending on, on really what we're looking for. So really, there's, there's a very specific amount of injuries that we're looking for. We're not looking to see if we can avoid an injury we don't feel is likely in rugby, it's avoiding what we tend to find is common. Uh, in your position, you left leg forward on, on, in scrumming? Right foot forward. Right foot forward. Okay, so we'll just compare. I want to see how you can tolerate pressure through your kneecap in that squat position. Okay then? Good job. Okay, do you have any knee pain during that squat? No. Any difference there for you? No. Okay, good. At the beginning of a medical, we'll look at certain we'll look at certain issues that we can assess. We've got obviously a, a hospital standard ultrasound at Bath, and our club doctors are, are radiologists. But for for some things, like particularly our scanning, we need to outsource that. We're very lucky to have Bath Clinic as our partners there, and right on our doorstep, um, like international quality MRI scanner, um, very quick service. We're very lucky to have them. So um, very often, a player medical will involve actually going short trip up to Bath Clinic and uh, completing the second part of their medical. Bath Clinic are very much our partners. They'll send. The results of the scans, the MRI scans are not something you can do outside of the hospital environment. We do the Bath Clinic MRI scans there, or CT scans, or x-rays, whatever we need. And they'll send them to our, our club doctor for evaluation. Very much a team approach with Bath Clinic. We're delighted to be working with Bath Rugby in order to be able to deliver them state-of-the-art equipment and facilities right on their doorstep here at Bath Clinic. We understand how important it is for Bath Rugby to have fast access to our imaging department. So from their perspective, they need good quality, clear scans delivered back to them as quickly as possible so that they can make an accurate and fast diagnosis. We have state-of-the-art equipment and in the main, the Bath Rugby players would be using our diagnostic facilities. We have brand new CT suite, we have ultrasound, x-ray, but the key thing that we have here is the MRI suite. From the player's perspective, the MRI scan is the most important piece of equipment that would be required because that looks at the soft tissue in the ligaments. It's the imaging that they're interested in and we deliver those straight back to you. So as the player is leaving the building, those images are on the way back to Bath Rugby so that then your medical team can determine the next steps on that road to recovery so that they can get back to play in the game again. If you look at your standard player medical, one of a player who's signing for a season or more, you're looking for hard and soft medical issues. On a hard medical issue, these are irreversible issues. Things like arthritic change, things that can't be reversed. If you're having widespread arthritic issues in a lower limb joint, it's a good chance we could fail a player medical there, regardless if they're still playing now. That's particularly true if a, a player contract's going to be longer than two or three years, we want to get some, some, some games out of this player. We feel he'll not be able to fulfill that. What I would say though, with, with a player medical, it's not about predicting injury. My ability to predict injury with 100% with certainty is zero. 
Um, it's about stratifying risk. Um, it's like exchanging on a mortgage. It's the more money you put forward, the bank feel they're taking less of a risk on you. They'll give you more favorable terms. What a, what a medical is trying to do is assess for risk. Is this got potential to break down and get worse during the future? The lower the risk of that, the easier a paramedical is. After preliminary medical, I articulate the findings back after we've had scan report findings and, and the general clinical findings. Report those back to Johan and, and Rob. Rugby Union is a very physical game and it's very often players will not have played, pretty senior players will not have had an injury during their playing career, so often medical findings will be discussed. We'll reiterate the appetite for risk if I identify that there is any. Uh, Johan and Rob will go away and adjust that. Um, at that point the medical is finished, they will offer or not the heads of terms and then we get into more um, how things will affect our, our actual mechanics when we come here. We're not now assessing whether they should or shouldn't join Bath, it's what we do when they arrive. How do we adjust their training program? What treatments do they need? What intervention do they need to help them play for us? So once they've passed their, I guess, their entry medical, then beyond that, it's just around how can we actually help their medical needs that they may have.